So I wanted to make this video to explain the diet. Some people are confused. The diet they should use for detox, out of detox. So I'm gonna show you in a very simple way what to do, what to use, etc. So let's start um, with um, the, the transition. So before you ever begin onto a, a detox or a cleanse, you need to transition into that cleanse. And this is done so because most people are too polluted, have too much toxins, have too much mucus and acids, have poor lymphatic systems. And therefore, when they jump onto the uh, cleanse without a transition, they end up um, having a heavier healing crisis or detox symptoms. Now, detox symptoms are defined as anything um, that cause um, uncomfort in the body, like a cold, flu-like symptom, like headaches um, and worsening of symptoms. Tem these are only temporary. But uh, detox symptoms allow the body to expel or remove um, waste from the body. Waste being toxins, m mucus, acids, etc. So we transition into a, a cleanse, always. And what's the this means that you're basically going to stop eating any animal products. This is the first and golden rule. Stop eating any animal products. Stop eating any starches. Starches are like potatoes, rice, uh, pizza, any flour, uh, processed flour. All these are uh, starches and they are harmful to the body and animal products in general, including dairy products. All these should be uh, removed. So the diet, ideally, when you transition, should always be high on the fruits, in the raw vegan side and you have some cooked alkaline vegan cooked alkaline vegan means uh, vegetables that are, are to the alkaline side but in general pretty much any uh, vegetable dark green vegetable is fine to consume you can cook it you can have it raw you can juice it and but you make sure you are also on the fruits this will allow you to expel and op waste and get um, the uh, pathways of elimination open this this is the um the bowels the liver the uh, skin, um, the, the lungs, and the kidneys. So we want to make sure those are working properly with a transition. So you're gonna do a transition for a week or two. It could even go longer than that, depending on how uh, comfortable you feel. When you're done the transition, you're gonna move on to um, a stronger cleanse. We're gonna have a mixed fruit diet. I mean, you can add some gr green drinks to, to it, but it's gotta be raw. And you're gonna do that for a week or two. And then we're going to move on to the um, fruits, nothing but fruits. This will allow faster detoxification. We can do that for a week or two, and then you can move on to a mono fruit cleanse. That means one fruit only, one fruit only, like the grapes, the berries, and the melons. And then we're gonna, you can even go further and add some dry fasting in there and water fasting, but only after you've done a few weeks on the fruits only, raw. Now, once you have done your cleanse and you have healed the body, I recommend that you, you stay on a diet that is alkaline in nature. You want to per preferably never go back to eating animal products, okay? Um, that's because why eat the foods that destroyed your health to begin with? So you stay away from the animal products. If you cannot stay away from the animal products for any reason, it should be minimal, once a week perhaps, okay? Ideally none, but use common sense. You, the foods I eat harmed you. Why would you go back and eat the foods that harmed you? Um, and you want to keep the diet always high on the raw fruits and veggies. That means you can juice it, you can eat it, but it's got to be raw. Raw means uncooked. You wash it well, organic, uncooked. And then um, you can have some cooked alkaline vegan. That's a perfect balanced diet. You have all the mineral and vitamins you need in that diet. Okay, And you will not be deficient in any way, shape or form. If you want to gain muscle mass or weight, you can add the high calorie fruits like the uh, bananas, like the uh, coconut. Papaya, papaya, figs, um, dates, coconut, coconut, I said that already. Oh, you can have some nuts, like um, almond, walnut, um, all these are fantastic. Brazil nuts, fantastic with nutrients. Always make sure that you do um, soak your nuts and dehydrate, dehydrate them again before you consume them. Um, so that's how the diet should be. So no matter where you find yourself uh, on the spectrum of a cleanse, this is how you do it. So it's not complicated. You go to your, your store, your supermarket or your local uh, grocery or your local market and you get your fruits and veggies and you just eat them as they are. If you want to cook them, sorry, if you want to prepare them, then you go to YouTube and search raw vegan recipes and you're going to get quite a few of them. Make sure that they're not too heavy on the oils and fats. That's it. Okay. Because um, oils wise, you want to stay away from stay away from most oils. The, the good oils will be avocado oils, um, uh, extra virgin coconut oil um, and um, some uh, olive oil. Um, apart from that, you want to stay away from oils. Don't go too heavy on the oils, okay? But this is how you you deal with um, your diet. I don't care what path you are in. In other words, if you're on a deep cleanse, then you want to go onto the fruits only. 
and, and fasting, etc. If you are in between, you're con you want to just uh, go slow, then you have raw fruits and veggies and add some cooked alkaline vegan in there. The cooked alkaline vegan, cooked foods in general, will stop a detox over a period of time. And no, you don't lose your results. So in other words, if you uh, went on fruits, mono fruit diet, and you were doing very well, but you got bored, you know, you need a change, and you went to have some uh, cooked um, vegan, please make sure that you don't jump to a fruit cleanse that has been going on for a week or two, three weeks, and then go on to cooked. Always transition, add some uh, mixed fruits, add some green, raw greens, and then you have the cooked. But if you did have some cooked for a day or two, it's not going to stop your progress. And then you go back to your raw again, then you're fine. So pay attention to this, and you have to be in control of your diet. Meaning that some people want a step-by-step -step guide on what to eat. It's not practical, it's not healthy, and it's, it's not a good idea. Your diet should be something that is a lifestyle-based. So you should know how to eat your fruits and veggies, and if you do want to prepare them raw, know, know some raw vegan uh, recipes. There are hundreds and thousands of them on YouTube for free. So there's no excuse for that matter. But in general, if you don't want to um, get uh, discouraged, just simply eat your fruits and veggies. Don't prepare them in any way, shape, or form. That's how you do it. And, and if you have this in mind, what I've just showed you, um, you're always going to succeed. Because even uh, when you are not detoxing, you know what to eat. If when you're detoxing, you know what to eat. And when you are, um, uh, you just want to ch uh, have a balance in your life, you can add some cook back, etc. It's very simple, my point is. Keep it simple. The key is always keep it simple. Never complicate stuff. Because when you complicate stuff, you will fail. And always try and improve your mindset. I always tell you that you should have the right mind mindset. And that's why I'm always telling you to get the book here. Imagination is my superpower because it shows you how to think, how to use affirmations, how to create a new you. Remember, it always goes spiritual, mental, physical. It's not the other way around. So if you are sick physically, there is a spiritual and mental part to it that you are not seeing. That could be causing a physical. It could be trauma. Okay? So you need to know how to take care of your mind. Okay? So get this book here if you can. Um, so I hope this helped you. If it did help you, make sure you save it. Make sure you share with others and uh, stay blessed.